Good morning, guys. Or well, good day. Past morning here. I've uh, been rudely awoken this morning with a really um, annoying story, an annoying comment, a message. Uh, yeah, so I've had a shave and a shower and a shit and a shampoo and I've just come out for brunch to this place in Cha'am that I've never been to before. It's called Jurassic Park and it's called the restaurant I think or the place itself is actually called the Angler's Rest. Uh, I'm not sure if you can go fishing in here, you know you would pay money and I don't know if you get to keep the fish, I don't know but I'll talk to them about it later. So that's where I am at the moment and I'm going to sit down and I'll show you the meal I'm getting and then I'm going to sit down and do a video and I might even get the drone up here. It's quite a pretty place, quite a pretty place. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, so Jurassic Park, the Angler's Rest. And it's uh, just at the back of Char Arm. I never even knew it was here. Well, I had heard of it, but I'd, I've never been here before. But it's really beautiful. So um, I'm going to sit here in the cool and have a feed and have a bit of a rant. And I'll get the drone up and get some uh, shots from around here. It's at the backside of uh, Nang Pantorat. Okay, so shortly I'll show so you. Here's food. my little brunch I'm getting. Just a fried rice with a little bit of salad and a garlic naan bread and a sweat of lime. That's it. I'll put the price in when I do the video. Nice bar, nice little restaurant. So I wasn't really going to make a video, a YouTube video today. Just let me straighten the camera up a little bit. Yes, but I had something happen to me this morning that uh, angered me greatly. It's become a bit of a burning issue and it's an issue that I have to set the record straight on. Thailand. Just the name itself conjures up exotic thoughts for me. Tropical paradises, beaches, beautiful turquoise, tropical water, mountains like this in the background. An ancient place with an ancient culture. Uh, yeah, so well, let's get to the point, eh? This morning I got a message from a friend advising me that uh, I should change a photo I've got online. Uh, I'll put the photo in the video. It's just my profile photo on my uh, messenger app. And it's just a picture of my, myself and my son and my daughter, maybe 10 years ago even, at, uh, waiting for the uh, New Year's Eve fireworks at Sydney Harbour. So my friend advised me that uh, for my own interests, I, I should take the photo down because some people had commented to my friend that uh, I'm, I'm still just stunned by this. That, uh, as you will be too when you see the photo, that uh, I look like a dirty old man in Thailand with those two young Thai girls. Well, needless to say, I kept asking what photo, what photo, and eventually he told me the messenger one. And I thought, well, hang on, a messenger photo, only the people that get it, get it sent to them, can see that, can view that. And then I realised he was talking about my profile photo with my kids, who both, of course, are half Asian, half Indonesian. So they could be, they could be mistaken for Thai kids. 
Sorry about that. Got an ant crawling on my screen. <laughs> it's annoying the crap out of me. Yeah, so uh, needless to say, I was furious, absolutely furious, and I pestered him and pestered him and eventually told me what the deal was, but uh, still left me fairly pissed off. And I wanted to set the record straight about time end. It appears to me, it appears to me that most people who haven't been here, who have not experienced Thailand, and most likely are bored and live very boring lives. Regard Thailand as something of a, uh, yeah, a place, I don't know, where people are fornicating in the streets or something. I mean, they equate Nana Plaza, Soy Cowboy, Pat Paul Road, and those areas of Bangkok. For some reason, they equate those with Thailand. They equate those as being Thailand, as what goes on there, as being Thailand. Let me tell you, Thailand is a far bigger country than that. And the people of Thailand are much better than that. And uh, sure, there's kitty fiddlers coming in like they do to all Asian countries. And for me, you know, to question my morals on this sort of uh, activity infuriated me. If I caught anyone doing that, I would kill them. And I mean kill them. Despite the consequences. So yeah, so I'm not, I am a dirty old man at times. You know, I'll be honest, you know, I play here. I've had some relationships here and I've had plenty of uh, forays into the world of fun, you might say. And uh, I'm not pleading innocent by any means. But people who've never been here, people who know nothing about Thailand, people who know nothing about me, you need to write your sick fucking minds. You know, this type of thinking about people who come here to live, males who come here to live, you need to get your head right. You need to talk to some of them and find out why they do it, you know? I'm not going to go into my whole life story here. I was divorced, I was due to retire. I didn't want to stay in Australia. I didn't like the government. I didn't like the way things were going there. Look at it now. Yeah, so, you know, I wanted to move somewhere tropical. I hate the cold weather. I wanted to go somewhere tropical, somewhere that was relatively inexpensive to live somewhere that had good food and good people. I'd lived in Indonesia for 12 years already. I didn't want to go back there. It's a bit messy, but I'm happy here. And most of the people my age, or, you know, say 45, 50 upwards to my age that live here, men, the majority of them are married and have good marriages, happy marriages to really nice women really nice type women. Many I know here who are single. Yeah, they play the bars, they do the, the single man lifestyle and you know, fair enough, up to them. If they want to do that, they can do it. Oh, I do it sometimes, you know? But this whole thing, this whole concept about older men coming to live in Thailand because there's some kind of sexual deviant or because they're pedophiles or something like that. It's absolutely disgusting. It disgusts me. It disgusts me immensely because I live here and I see what goes on here and I see the people that live here. I see the men my age here. They're nothing like that. They're wonderful people, beautiful people. They've left their homes for, and it's multicultural. There are people here from every country on the planet. And it's a multicultural place. And so, you know, in the defense of, uh, well, I don't even need to defend us, but I will say in the defense of men, older men living in Thailand, it's not what you think. And, well, obviously, I don't know what people think because 
after that this morning, nothing surprises me. It's just, uh, I was infuriated, but at the moment I've calmed down, I've had some brunch here at this place, it's quite nice, isn't it? This is what I do. I spend my days doing stuff like this and looking after my shop in Chatham, making taco mix and whatnot. I'm not hanging out with any young Thai girls, you know. The one thing you have to remember when you're making judgments from something you've seen and conjuring up some sort of uh, devious thoughts in your little minds, one thing you have to remember. Number one, Thai women always look 10, 15 years younger than they are. They're small people. And you can't judge a book by its cover. Get that through your thick skulls. And I'm not saying this to my subscribers or people that know me. I'm saying that to the people that are so screwed up in their head that all they can do is think and project bad shit about people, about other people, about what other people are doing. It's bad. Don't do it. Don't think like that. Write your thinking. It's disgusting. It really is disgusting. And if that's all you've got to do in lockdown, is to sit at home and think about crap like that, then really, you need to be locked up the whole time because you've got a very sick head and a very, very, very flawed thought process. So anyway, that's my little rave on that matter that happened this morning. I, 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 I'm really, no, I am still disgusted. Um, I don't know exactly who it was that said this to my friend. I can imagine it's someone that looks me in the eye and smiles right to my face while their sick little mind is all the time thinking those very, very evil, deviant thoughts about myself and probably about other people as well. So look, you just got to forget that shit about Thailand. Look, look behind me. This is Thailand. This is what I do here. You know, other than that, I sit on my fat ass on the sofa at home because it's so hot with the aircon going watching YouTube movies. Not my YouTube movies. I do watch my own movies sometimes. But uh, yeah, so anyway, this video will probably go up tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm, uh, I'm over what those people said. But I know that there are others that think that, that think like that, and you're wrong. I'm telling you now, you're wrong on so many levels. So many levels, wrong, wrong, wrong. So get your head out of the gutter. Look at your own life. Have a look in your own garden before you start telling other people to fucking rake up their leaves in their garden. Yeah? Get away from your back fence. Stop looking what other people are doing. Get your own life together. Okay, so that's it. I'm, I'm finished now with the road. So, probably going to go home and have a bit of a snooze after this. And, uh, you know, of course it's, uh, you know, already 1.30 here. So, I've got to go home. I've got a little bit of a headache. I've had the stitches out. My head's feeling really good now. It's uh, still a little bit tight and, uh, you know, bleeds a little bit at night time, I guess, because I'm moving around on the pillow. Very hard to put a bandage on your head. You know, especially in the heat where it's sweating and all that hair. As you know, many of you that uh, have a lot of hair. <laughs> but there's a bit of bum fluff on the back, on the top of the head there, where I had the, uh, where I had the surgery, and so it's very hard to put a bandage on. I just put a little bit of antibiotic cream on it, and it's, it's okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I haven't got the headaches all day, every day now that I did when I had the stitches and when I had the nasty door squamous or cancers growing away there so yeah everything's good and uh, I uh, want to thank all the people that have subscribed to the channel I really appreciate it it's taken me a long time I'm not going very fast but you know I've got over 200 subscribers now that's made me really happy I'm getting somewhere and uh, also I want to thank those people that make comments because the comments uh, a way I can interact with you rather than just sit here and talk at you and I do like that you know uh, 
my Facebook, my Facebook, my YouTube subscribers uh, to me are like my own little community. And I do appreciate your comments, your criticisms, your witticisms, your uh, your your uh, praise or some of the footage and some of the stuff I do. And uh, also the uh, when I have technical issues, people point that out to me. I don't know what the sound's going to be like on this. I'm using this little um, mic with a um, with a remote. This is the transmission, the Road 2 transmission box. Just clips onto my shorts and there's uh, a receiver plugged into the phone. So it's like a remote microphone. Works really well, I really like it. So I hope the sound comes out all right on this one. Okay, so that's it for now. The video is getting on a bit because I've got some drone footage to throw in it too. So thanks very much for watching. I've spoken to the guy at the Elephant uh, Park and I'll probably be heading out there within the next few days to do a heap of footage. I might even stay there overnight. They've got some cabins and stuff there. So yeah, I'll be looking into that and looking at these rescued elephants. And I think they've got a, a whole menagerie of rescued animals out there. So we'll have a look at that very soon. So thanks very much for, very much for watching. And uh, it'll be bye for now. See you all next time. And uh, stay cool. Yeah, people talking that sort of shit about Thailand. Educate them. Educate them. Okay, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Ciao for now.